300 SM versus the Dual Sport is of course smaller 17 inch wheels, street tires, and then they've also updated the suspension so it feels a bit stiffer. Yeah, we had a good time earlier in the day riding the, uh, the Supermoto version on the street. We went up to some back roads and the bike really shines back there. It is so much fun back there. One thing I started thinking, I was like, man, this engine is super smooth. And uh, I think it is really smooth, but I think the uh, narrower handlebar, as well as the big rubber inserts on the foot pegs make a big difference. Like you really don't feel any vibrations through that. So I had a lot of confidence on the street that if I had a situation where I had to panic brake and stop really fast, the bike was up to the task. And that also translates really well to the track because there's a lot of instances where you're doing hard braking on the track and so you're really gonna enjoy that extra stopping power that the KLX 300 SM can deliver. You're going from large off-road oriented wheels that kind of subdue the handling a little bit and then with these smaller wheels, it just perks everything up and makes it a very light, throwable, you know, you can just chuck the bike around and have fun. I just kept leaning the bike more and more and more and pushing it into the corner more and more and more. The front end was sticking, everything was solid. There wasn't any slipping, there wasn't any sliding, there wasn't any upset. It was, it was impressive. The bike handles really, really great. It's a really quick steering bike. And again, you know, coming out to a car track is a perfect place to get to really test that out. But on the street too, it's, it's just a really nimble, easy motorcycle. It feels super light. From the roads this morning, I really enjoyed the bike and I liked it a lot. But when we got to the cart track, I went from like, like to love. So I really got to push the bike. KLX 300 SM is a great package and a great value. And whether you're an entry level rider, you know, novice, beginner, intermediate, expert, you can have a lot of fun on this thing, especially at a cart track like this and out in the street in the canyons. It's really amazing the kind of uh, cool things we can get for $6,000 these days, and definitely the KLX 300 Supermoto is one of them. The fact that you can do so many things with this bike, whether it's going out on a long trip, using it for commuting, you know, I think that just bumping it up from that 250cc up to the 300 made a huge difference in terms of the versatility of the bike. I don't really know how much more fun could be had. Bikes were perfect.